You hear that squirrel chirping. The danger went through the area just now, about 20 minutes ago. The danger is gone, but it's still chirping. Our minds are like that. Something can set them going, and even though the issue that sparked the mind's reaction is long gone, we can keep repeating it over and over and over again. This is what's called clinging. The word clinging tends to give the impression that you've got it, the mind has a hand that it's holding on to things. But what it actually means is it's an activity that you keep doing over and over again, even when it's not serving any purpose at all. So you've got to look at your attitudes, look at your thoughts, look at your emotions to see what you're hanging on to that's not really serving any purpose, and realize that you can drop it. You don't have to keep just chirp, chirp, chirping away all the time. This is why the mind needs a good place to step out of its thoughts, step out of its opinions, and just be with the sensation of the breath. So you can look at those thoughts as processes. Instead of getting into them, you look at them from the outside. And you see what they do, you see where they come from, you see where they're going, and that takes away a lot of the interest. Because that's our passion for these things that makes us go into our thoughts, and then they become little worlds in which we inhabit. And those worlds can create a lot of suffering if we're not careful. So you always want to be able to have a spot where you can pull out, stay with the breath, not get involved with whatever thoughts are coming through, and then you can look at them. This is your protection in lots of ways, having that sense of full body awareness, the breath energy filling the body, and you're right here. Because when you have this sense of stable center, or stable foundation, then you begin to see that the thoughts that were so real that seem to have so much importance and reality are not quite so real after all, not so important after all. You don't have to take them on. That gives you a lot of freedom right there. You can be more choosy about which thoughts you think, and you can think the thoughts that are actually helpful. Get some use out of this mind. We have this wonderful ability to be able to think things, understand things, analyze things. In some kinds of meditation, they tend to tell you not to do any thinking or analyzing, but the, the Buddha didn't say that. You start out right concentration with thinking and evaluating. And he asks that you contemplate things. So it's learning when to think, when not to think, and how to use your thinking. That's the real skill that we're trying to develop here. And the ability to pull out of your thoughts at any time. That's one of your first skills that you want to master. That's why we put so much emphasis on the concentration, because that's your safe spot. We don't have to keep on chirp, chirp, chirping away at ourselves all the time. You can pull out and find some silence inside. 